let's talk about how to get things moving in your digestive system so you can keep on glowing, all right? All right, so today we're going to be talking about constipation. And I feel so weird saying that. Ugh, I didn't know I'd be talking about this, but it is very important to have a healthy, moving, nutrient absorbing digestive system so that the good food that you're putting in your body can actually be used by your body and not just, you know, clogged up and or not absorbed and out of your body. So let's talk about it. So t this past week, I have been feeling kind of backed up. <laughs> so, wow, it's so embarrassing, um, but I have. And so one of the main things about that was that I was stressed to start and then I ate a bunch of junk food that my body was just not happy with digesting. And then I got dehydrated because it was super warm all of a sudden and I wasn't drinking enough water. So here's some things that helped me with that. So number one, I drank more water, a lot, a lot more water. Number two, I ate whole fiber rich foods. I avoided animal products because those are harder for your digestive system to digest. And also they don't come with enzymes that your body can break down. You should be taking, and I should be taking, a uh, enzyme supplement when I take the animal products, uh, just because, again, they do not come with enzymes that your body can break down. It's a lot harder for your body to break down. Uh, so, so that's that. And also I've been experimenting with plant-based diet for a while, for about a year now, so I knew like it would be even more hard for my body to break it down. So we were, we were gonna add, you know, flame to the fire, okay? So I stuck with whole fiber rich plant-based foods. So that would be, that would be all of the, you know, flaxseed, ground flaxseed, add that to my smoothie that's already fiber rich anyways with the good veggies and like fruits in there. And then I also, you know, had oats, so that's also fiber rich. Um, I eat Ezekiel bread, you know, these things, these things would be really, really fiber rich, okay? And then I ate, I had a lot of peppermint tea made with my digestive oil and just regular peppermint tea is known for digestive support, but I just, I amped up the volume with the, with the digestive oil, okay? So it really gets things going. And it's also just very uh, soothing as well. So that really helped me. And then this morning, after I'm super hydrated, I drank black tea. Now you could, so black tea and green tea, those are known as being mild laxatives, but only do this if you are already really hydrated because it could make your constipation worse. All right, so um, that's something. I also de-stressed. That was the other thing I did. And the reason that I feel like that helped me is because when you're stressed, you are crunching up and tensing up your muscles and that can really affect your intestines where all of your food is going through so things can get blocked up, right? So, and it can make digestive digestion so much harder when you are stressed. Uh, for example, a lot of people have, oh boy, here we're talking about it, a lot of people have diarrhea when they're stressed, right? A lot of people get constipated, right? It can be two different things, however your body reacts. And I guess usually it's kind of the other one for me, but I guess today, this past week, it was the blocking up. So, so de-stressing this morning really helped me and we'll have a whole other video on how I do that because that's just a whole thing. But really for me, uh, just really quick and easy, I didn't uh, put too much on my to-do list. Let's just put it like that. I, I wound down the expectations for myself during the day and that really helped me, okay? So what I intend to do to continue healing my gut and revving up the digestion, number one, I'm gonna to continue to stay hydrated. I kinda of got off the train there for a while and so I need to get back to just amping up my hydration. And an app I use for this, I just use the app that's on my iPhone for my water tracker. And so I'll just use that again if I need to. Um, but I'm also, but you know what, I'm really used to my water bottle, like it's, you know, it's 24 ounces, uh, 28 ounces. So, you know, 28 ounces, you know, times by, that by how many, how, or, do, you know, how many do I need to get to a gallon, right? Or I just take a gallon, I want to have a gallon in of water during the day, so I'm just gonna, you know, divide that, 
um, by 28 ounces and see how many ounces that's in there. Or you know what, I don't even know if that's the right math, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go online and figure it out that way. So Google, how many uh, ounces are in a gallon? All right, yep, I am not your math girl. Do not quote me on anything, okay? When it comes to math, okay, don't do it. Um, yeah, I Google it, okay? Um, kindergarten math, that's pretty much where we stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, although I did get an A in pre-cal. You should know that. All right, so here we go. <laughs> you don't need to know that. Okay, um, and next here we go. So I'm gonna start getting a digestive supplement, enzyme supplement again, so that I trust. So I had been using an enzyme supplement for a while and then I kind of got back off, got off it because I was focused on other things. But you know what? That's just something that I really need because a lot of naturopaths, a lot of you know holistic doctors are gonna tell you that people that are 25 years and up, they don't, they no longer produce the enzymes that, as many enzymes as your body needs to fully break down the food and absorb nutrients, which makes sense, right? Because after a certain point, as we get older, we're starting to realize like, mm, you know, things just aren't sitting well as, you know, as well as they used to, or you know what, I have to worry about my weight a little bit more, all of these things. So that's because your body's just not, is not producing, it could be a myriad of different things, but, you know, your body's just not producing as many enzymes, right? So I'm gonna return to using my digestive enzyme supplements that I trust and get back to that. Another thing I am going to return to is my probiotic that I've been off lately. Now I use it in the evening when there's nothing in my stomach basically. So I'm gonna use that in the evening. That's also, um, I, I like to use one that is something that's refrigerated so I feel like it's even more powerful in that sense because it's like oh it's alive like I have to keep it refrigerated right so uh, and then also you want to look for a probiotic that actually has in the capsule or the cap you know whatever it is that it has something that's going to protect the bacteria that's in the probiotic from your stomach acid so that it makes it all the way through your intestinal tract so very important to look at that and we can talk about that in another video or you can just ask me and I'll send you more information on that. Okay, next one. Support, I'm gonna support my body more with lemon water to rev up my digestion in the beginning of the day so that my digestive system's like, oh, okay, so I'm, I have the sourness on my taste buds. I'm gonna start producing more digestive juices. That is a great way to help rev up your digestion. Also, drinking peppermint tea throughout the day, like I'm gonna do that a little bit more to sort of rev up my digestion. And, you know, I'll have organic green and black tea as well, probably more in the earlier part of the day because caffeine can really mess with my sleep, even a little bit in tea. And then, you know, I'm gonna just continue to enjoy fiber-rich foods. I am not sure when or if I'm gonna get back on eating animal products regularly because I'm really enjoying how I feel right now in a plant-based diet. And not that I'm perfect with it, uh, and not that I'm, I'm not vegan, but plant-based, I'm really enjoying how my body feels. So I don't know, I'll have to share a little bit more about that later, but I need to do more research on that. And again, I'm not a doctor, I'm just telling you how I feel and what's going on, all right? What's helping me glow so that you guys can sort of figure out what makes you glow, okay? All right, so thank you so much for watching. And again, to connect with our community, if you're not already in our community, check out the link below if you're watching this on YouTube and you'll see the link to our group. All right, and thank you so much. Have a great rest of your evening and you know, make sure to take care and love your digestive system.